Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of the Family Podcast with your two favourite brothers. My name is Sammy. My name is Don. And welcome, welcome back. <clears throat> Thank you to all the new subscribers for joining. Clap for yourselves. <laughs> Clap for yourselves. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so today... We're going to be talking about quite a sensitive I topic. I got the laptop with the glasses and said, clap for yourself like that old African maths teacher. <laughs> yeah, it's bad, did not it? Mm. I, don't, I can't do maths for nothing. <laughs> yeah, sorry, go on. But yeah, um, well, yeah, we'll talk about quite a sensitive topic. So if anybody has any issues around bullying, um, then please um, proceed with caution. Yeah, so I was watching um, Abba and preaching it, as mm. I do. Yeah. I like their stuff. And um, they came across a story. Silence is the quiet. Students at Central Regional High School in the Bayville section of Berkeley Township angry, fearful over the suicide of one of their own. After this video was posted to social media last week of several students attacking 14-year-old Adriana Kush, walking with her boyfriend in the hallway for no reason yet disclosed. Two days later, she took her life at home. Her father outraged police weren't called. Have you ever been bullied? Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, let me explain this, yeah. So my type of bullying, yeah, wasn't necessarily that somebody would be like, yo, empty your pockets, innit? Mm. It happened that around me. some months type bullying. Yeah, it happened around me and there were people who were on that. But generally, you just kind of saw them as the olders, innit? So it wasn't really bullying. Like, it was just like, this is how the olders act. They're trying to get money for chips and chicken and at the end of the day, innit? So if you are not smart enough to pattern your money in your sock or whatever, then you're just going to get rubbed in it car man's trying to eat in it even sometimes you go into the shop and be buying your donor and chips and that and someone come to you and be like bro didn't you tell me you didn't have no money in that mm -hmm. you'll be like yeah bro man yeah i found it in a playground yeah man just hustled that bro like what do you mean <clears throat> like um or oh, i just found it or something you just pattern your situation in it i was with the niche yeah yeah but i was with like the a1 people do you get what i'm saying but the people who they respected yeah weren't necessarily always me so i felt like i always had to prove a point mm. do you know what i'm saying like yeah. i always had to be like yo like if this person touches me active but then you had to be smart because some people are just stronger than you they've been fighting from time do you get what i'm saying yeah been scrapping since 13 and they're now big 16 and they got hands do you know what i'm saying yeah. so you don't want to be that person who's laid out and them times was the times of the um nokia leaf phone Oh, yeah. cameras were just coming on and the NEC phones so you didn't want to be caught on the scrappers and you're just one up just uh, all, all yeah, on the floor yeah. and that do you know what I'm saying so yeah. you know you had to be careful about who you started war with didn't it um, and some people especially where man comes from some people be well connected so you, also you could put all your might into one fight box up a person and then end up being held up by someone's brother. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Receiving bangs to the face when it's unfair and nobody's backing it. You're just, they are just getting Holding punched up. Elf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I think I always had insight into these things. Like, I was never someone who, like, it had to happen for me to know. I was someone who was like, I don't want to be in this situation, innit? Mm. I don't mind throwing hands, yeah, but if you're going to try to put me in some unfair thing, I'm not on it. That yeah. gave me certain issues today that now I can function around in it. Um but it is mad in it like when you um when you premeditate something. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like premeditate murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this would be a running theme in it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. that was my experience in it. So it wasn't necessarily like someone sticking me up or I never got like punched up or nothing like that all the scraps were consensual you know what i'm saying like both people were like yo we're trying to scrap each other but it was just like my my group they all they everyone wanted to look for that person that could be the guy who you bust joke on innit? yeah yeah, yeah i was I, never I, think to be, I think that's everywhere yeah and i never wanted to be that guy but sometimes it took it to a next level in it yeah, yeah but some people say that's bullying some people say no nah, you didn't your group of friends were just jousting with you but yeah, bro, it yeah. actually got to blows with certain people like we people going home bloody do you know what i'm saying yeah. over certain things so you know not saying that i blooded them not saying that they blooded me if you weren't there you weren't there to see the movie <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah yeah i think for me mine's a bit similar to yours but a little bit different mm. so i i didn't be for my friend group okay and i think the thing that got me here yeah, is that a lot of the bullying that happened to me was around skin color. Okay. And it happened from other black people. 
Oh, yeah, man got the African ones, though. Yeah, but not just... But Afri- I never got... I, I never really got the, like, blick ones. Yeah, see? Yeah, so, yeah. like, I got... I got targeted for my skin shade. Mm. So, I actually, I didn't really get targeted for the fact that I was from Ghana. Mm. Or, or I was African. Yeah, so I never used to get ragged on for that. But mm. people ragged on me for my my skin colour. And, like, mm. made me feel like, raw, you're proper dark, fam. Like, That's you're mad. a proper dark dude. And what was... What got my like what r- raged me, yeah, mm. was the fact that people with very similar like pigmentation, yeah, to me was was doing it. Mm, not mad, and I get why they were doing it as an adult because if you're doing it to me, they're not doing it to, to you, you, yeah. So I understand the laws of the jungle, I understand mm. it, but it was infuriating, okay, yeah, and. Um, yeah, I like, can tell you're passionate about it now, so yeah, like it was just infuriating because, like, even now we're still having conversations about colorism and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and it's just like, oh, you know, yeah, but we've had to deal with this from slavery times. I'm like, you need to get that out of your brain. Like, how long does it take for you to understand, like, that there's certain things that are wrong, mm-hmm. yeah, or there's certain things that are not con- conducive to a movement, yeah, mm-hmm. and 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 move away from it instead of continually like, oh yeah, but you know, we're still trying to grapple with the shackles of say, no, you're not, Mm. you're not, you're making a conscious decision to be ignorant. All the, all of the information is out there. Kendrick's got songs, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Uh, complexion. Yeah. yeah. You man know already. Kanye's got songs. Yeah. You all know already Mm. about colorism. Yeah. You all know about it. So Mm. for me, it was it was just proper annoying because it feels like you're being turned on by your own race, mm. yeah. And then, you know, when your friends, the people that you actually latch onto, um, are like white, or you find interest in things that are like white, even though they're not white. Like every black person can read and be in, Leonard, and, and enjoy yeah. literature. Every you know, like it's like oh, you're some coconut brother. Yeah, you see, that, that, that's mad, yeah, because you see, when I went to university, yeah, all my brethren are white. So when I go out with my brethren from university, yeah, I've got basically predominantly white English or like white Irish, do you get what I'm saying? Mm. And then I've got like maybe like two brothers from Kurdistan. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, and they also look like lighter. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? The Americans call it white passing. I heard man say white passing. Yeah, know? yeah. I didn't even know there was a term. Yeah, yeah bro. Um, if you stay online, there's a word for everything. For everything, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, obviously, there's me. And I'm significantly darker than every man there, bro. It's like yeah, rolling yeah. a dice and getting a one. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Basically. So, yeah. for me, yeah, like, that, but that's never been a thing for me, you know? Mm. Honestly, like, I, I really couldn't care what people think. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell. I posted my boy Joey G the other day, in it, like, and he's mm. got like the short kind of bob style cut, you know, mm. rocker, like proper rocker look. Yeah, yeah. And that's my boy. Shout out Joey. Yeah, shout out Joey. Like, that's my boy. Shredding you know what I'm saying? things. Yeah, 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 trust me, bro. Guitar legend, bro. Yeah. But um, I've also got like black bridges. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'm just like, if you don't learn how to merge culture, you never know how to bring something new. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it, you lot are out here, yeah. There's white men them who go to the Caribbean store and order oxtail. Do you get what I'm saying? And a sour sap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't get it twisted out here. And yeah. there's there's black men who go into. Do you get what I'm saying? Don Eagles fish and chip shop and all the uh, mushy <laughs> yeah. peas and a uh, bro. Shout out Don Eagles. I've had some of their things. <laughs> yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? Them, man. Yeah. So, so my thing is like, yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, we can all have this jousting and stuff and, you know, be making mockeries about what's black and what's white and that, yeah. But honestly, yeah, we can say whatever we want, yeah. We've all needed each other to survive here yeah, since the age of time. You yeah, I, I just, and, yeah. And like, some, you can say whatever you want, yeah. Bro, like the technology yeah, that is coming up in Africa right now, yeah, is because of the West, bro. Like whether you like it or not, yeah. Like, like obviously, look, I'm not, so, I'm not somebody who believes in 
segregation. I think it's, yeah, yeah. Like, it's I think, weird, bro. Like, it's I a think, weird like, thing. I think it's very, very strange that um, we've had ancestors mm. that that fought to be part, a recognised part of the West. Mm. Yeah. And <clears throat> to be able to shop where white people shop, mm. to be able to... Um, sit where white people sit. Yeah, sit where white people sit and, and to enjoy some of the luxuries you know, like going to a spa mm. and not saying, no, you can't go there. Or going swimming, bro. But like people yeah. just forget that like certain men were throwing acid yeah, in swimming pools where black people were, right? So we've like come from that. Mm-mm. And now we've come from that. And the discourse is we need to separate ourselves again. Like from some people. Yeah, that's what I was doing. So, yeah. So again. And that's by no means to say that man's not like to some degree like pro black on but some but you have issues. to like see, yeah, this yeah. is the thing you have to like, be like I don't think you can split the two you have to be progressively black because your experience is black that, yeah you know it's kind of like like always takes me back to that Carlton thing mm. where Carlton is being rejected from like one of the um what do they call it fraternities okay yeah, the yeah. black fraternities from um in the Fresh Prince mm. and the guy's basically saying you act white Mm, mm, mm. you know because you're like Tom Jones and you do like a silly dance and you don't dance cool like black people like yeah. mm, black people are cool dancers like mm. <laughs> whatever but that's what I'm that like that is kind of what I'm talking about innit mm, yeah, yeah Um, but to, to I, I think we've like sidetracked side a track, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's an, an important conversation yeah, to have yeah. innit um, and maybe we'll delve into some of those topics a bit later on. But mm. have you ever bullied before? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Wow, man, said so most definitely. Most definitely. Do you know what it is, yeah? I don't feel like I bullied people, but I was assertive. I wanted to know certain stuff. So I'd be like, yo, my brother, are you going to give me that Pokemon card? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And he'd be like, uh, uh, well, make up your mind, brother. Like, what are you saying? Like, bro, but I weren't like a physically, come here, like... Uh, man said, "Uh, that's all right." Like incri- possibly incrimination. No, no, I can't lie. I was a wrecky little kid. Mm. Obviously, remember, I'm telling you, yeah, that my friendship group, yeah, we were bouncing and beefing each other and getting each other bloody in it. So certain times, that behavior kind of outspills. Yeah, to civilians. So, yeah, not even to civilians. Cause <laughs> I never really bullied civilians, but like, if you looked at me wrong, if I thought you was like. You know, like, sometimes people are making jokes, yeah, but, like, the joke kind of hits home a little bit, innit? Mm. And I'll make it very known, yeah, that, yeah, I'll punch you up still, like... And if you're someone who's quite confident and, like, you know, like, you get those guys who, like, they like, KSIs, do you get what I'm saying? Who's going to mm. poke fun, like, that you're getting angry at the situation, mm. innit? Then, yeah, it's going to get active. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, for me, it was more of that, innit? Mm. I felt like I was defending myself, but I'm from that kettle of fish. That person is not from that kettle of fish. They're from, I don't know, like, I don't know what the people who bust joke, or do they do? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they they could say things to their friends where it wasn't a, it wasn't ever going to be a threat to them. You know? Yeah, yeah. Someone would just say, oh, well, stop saying that. And yeah, they yeah, just yeah, keep yeah. saying that. And it's like, stop saying that. Whereas I'm actually the person who's like, stop saying that. And you're like, nah. And I'm like, all right, cool. Catch these hands. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so that... That was my thing. And then also, um, I always wanted to be up in it. Like, so I was going to find a way to make money regardless. Mm. So I would sell things. Mm. Or if I couldn't sell things, then I'd just find someone who's looking bready and I'd be like, yo, come here. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And then you just come there. Yo, what are you saying, Don? What are you saying? You good, yeah? Yeah, man's good. All right, cool, cool, cool. You can pack a man with two pounds. Mm. And then some people would be like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that, innit? And I'd be like, what? Do you know what I'm saying? And then someone would be like, oh, yeah, nah, sorry, bro, man, don't have it. And I'll be like, oh, all right, calm, calm. If you don't have it, do you know what I'm saying? But then sometimes someone would be like, you can tell that they don't really want to give it to you. But now man wants it. I want my chicken and chips and do you know what I'm saying? Off another man. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yo, brother, like, what are you saying? Like, da, da, da. And then I used to put, see, it's mad because I used to see, put I myself feel like... at risk as yeah. well Okay. For, to do favours for people who weren't as strong as me. So I know I can punch you up. So it's like, Raw. Someone will say, "All right, cool. Here's an example. You see Dragon Ball Z like posters, yeah. You used to get the brothers in school who used to collect them, like the Pokemon cards, like the Pogs in it. You always get people who are interested in stuff. So I used to be like, "All right, cool. This brother is a sick artist, yeah. And he drew and put his thing up on the wall in it in class, in it. So man will yank that down for you for you to put in your folder. But man wants ten buff. 
Do you know oh, what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay. And then they will be like, yeah, I'm going to do that. Or some people will be like, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'll be like, but do you want it or not? Do you know what I'm saying? And they'll be like, mm, I kind of... And in their head, their head is doing the 50-50 thing. So, mm. I mean, you man, could say... It's... Man was a hitman out here. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, like, you know what's crazy? Like, mm. a lot of the stuff that happens in the school playground is crazy. Yeah, bro. it's mad. Um, like, I remember there was this brother. Yeah. We talk now with, with, with decent friends, innit? Mm. But... I weren't too nice to him like at school, like full disclosure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I basically found out like, oh, I could get money from him if mm. I say to him like, listen, I'm I'm your security in it. You're a little brother. Yeah, yeah man, you used to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, a little, yeah. you're a little ute, man. In it, I'm cool with all the. the yeah, that the was the good thing heads. about being cool with Jewel. Yeah, and so like, bro, <clears throat> you bust me a pound in it, and then, fam, nothing happens to you in it. Mm. Obviously, nothing was ever gonna happen to him. But um, it's nice to know you got security, isn't it? Yeah, but then sometimes it got a bit weird, and this is where I feel bad, isn't it? Obviously, mm. because then he'd be like, "Oh, I'm not sure I need this." And I'm like, "What, bro? You need to pattern up that." Bro, I was hiding. Up. I was hiding at the back of some people's houses waiting to collect, bro. <laughs> 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 you know, so obviously, look, <clears throat> these I was things. A tyrant. Are, these but... these things are like they're weird to talk about, isn't mm. it? Because within the context of what we're talking about, we understand that it's like, very serious stuff. Yeah, yeah like. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be like a ha-ha situation if that brother, like, for example, he he had, he had a diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder because of those What you things. did, yeah, yeah. And so it's important, I think, to be a bit sobering when we talk yeah, about no, these things and like, to say that this isn't, this isn't things that we recommend or stuff like mm-hmm. that, but... In the area that we kind yeah, of grew and up in. The play, and like, yeah, all of this, like, beating up people. So a lot of our thing was never, like, violent. Like, what you find mm. is, like, even the people who were, like, making fun of me and that, yeah. it was never violent. Like, yeah. it, only when I got really fed up and I was like, I I, I need to punch you up. Like, yeah. I, I need to have and a it fight. And still, them times, it was still hands. Like, yeah. it wasn't always getting chef. Like, people weren't getting chefy. like, how yeah, they are now. Yeah, it's crazy now because now you don't even know where... You see, bullying, yeah, it's mad now because it's like, I remember, this isn't a bullying situation, mm. right? But I remember... There was a brother and we ended up having a fight in the, in the school. Mm. He was significantly smaller than me. So obviously I just wiped the floor with him. <clears throat> I'm walking around like Billy, big bollocks, yeah? Mm. And then towards that end, so that was like first period, mm. yeah? Because I think, I can't remember, but in, in the school, you had like a morning break where you went outside and then like an afternoon break, which was lunchtime. Mm. And so I was walking around, Billy Big Bollocks all through the day. And then at lunchtime, his brother and his cousin come up. And they were older. And he's like, he didn't even say nothing to me. He just walked up to me and hit man, Mm. like in the solar plexus. No, man. And I just went down, tears in my eyes, like Mm. some little bitch boy. And and he was like, don't ever touch my brother again. Mm. And then his cousin, who was a little punk yeah mm. i was on the floor tears in my eyes and he just give man boom booting in it mm. and then <clears throat> and then he was like you know them yeah brothers yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. that in it like don't touch my brother again he did the work in it i'm on the floor he gives me a kick in in it and then he's like yeah oh yeah and i'm like bro if i catch you by yourself yeah, yeah like, i read books but listen i you like mm. you're only getting it because you know but it's mad because nowadays that could have been me deleted, fam. Bro, listen, yeah. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you could actually get into a situation. Because now, I, my daughter is about to start school, yeah? Mm. And I think about these things, innit? Like, what do I tell her about navigating bullies? Mm. Yeah, because if I say, listen, because m- dad was like, if somebody punches you, you punch them in the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, do I give that same advice to my son and my daughter? Because... N- now no it ever. could be a real problem mm. you know what i mean it could be a real problem young boys today are so egotistical that they can't take losses and they they can't shake hands after and say like you Good won fight, yeah. you won i lost you know the better man won boom we threw hands this that and the other people boys today i don't know what kind of estrogen is in the water in it but they're just they can't take violation and mm. grow from it 
They yeah. can't take like a whooping and grow from it. No, Fam, a they have to come. Back. They have to come. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And it teaches you an important lesson about your life. Yeah, that there are people who are more competent than you. There are people who are more violent than you. There are people who are more. And once you know that, you you start to regulate your life mm. a bit better. You you learn how to judge risk and how to take risk better. Yeah. When you never learn that, or when you're a brother who's like just so hot headed, mm. it don't matter. Like it don't matter that you lost once as long as you get the get back. See, I took some big L's. I can't even lie, like big L's in it. But I had like a lot of clout on my name from other things in it. Mm. Do you think that your family was a protective factor as well? What of me not wanting to fight or what? Yeah. So like, you know how you were saying you took big L's and and no, 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 no. I just like, I just thought that I was something that I wasn't always. Do you get what I'm saying? So like, man rode with a lot of road brothers, but they had been on the roads and my, so technically maybe, yeah, because my parents always tried, well, our parents always tried to keep me indoors. Do you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't, I'd be allowed out on a one spin the block, but I wouldn't be allowed out to Shinika's in. party. And yeah, that, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, tooting. Yeah, yeah, tooting and doing rave up at 12 o'clock, whereas my other boys were active like that. Mm. So there were certain things that I missed out on, innit? But for example, yeah, I remember a man got my head stamped on by a goth. Aye, that is wild. Yeah, yeah, mad. Do you know what I'm saying? So you can imagine what that would be. I'm did. taking goth L's. Bro, but you see what that would have done to a man's credibility. But yeah. I remember when I was in school, yeah. one of my brethren yeah like one brother said something to him and man smacked him and gave him a black eye ended up in the school office for like almost like five weeks straight just staring you know them days where they make you just make you face the wall and that <laughs> yeah 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 like i'd only eat my lunch so basically i'd finish lesson that man whacked him up so much yeah purpled his eye that i had to go into the um the staff office and that's why I'd eat my lunch. And then they'd just keep me there for the whole of my lunchtime. Mm. And man did that for almost five weeks straight, bro. Do you yeah, know what I'm that's, saying? That's the first time they put me in there, yeah, man was so trying to get out that man almost man dragged the teacher by her hair from the door. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was a recce kid in some instances. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But there was other instances where it was like, this might be a bit too far. Do you know what I'm saying? after the head stamping? What, that when I thought it might be a bit too far? No, bro. Oh. I was still active after the head, the head oh, stamping oh, oh. in it, but it was more of a proof thing. Do you get what I'm saying? So I remember I got into beef with a brother who man clearly should never have got into beef with. Do you mm, know what I'm saying? Them ones there. Yeah, yeah. He's stronger than me. He's active on the road. Well connected. I don't even know why I agreed to... <laughs> bro, it do, it didn't make any sense, didn't it? Yeah. But then, obviously, people knew that I was down to scrap, but he punched me up. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so... It just depends. No, that, that's two back-to-back stories. Of pun- oh, no, I had the one story of punching someone <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I was about to say, fam, what the hell, bro? You know, Victim mode activity. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But then you, then you had the brother in the church, that man dash over chairs yeah, and that. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I, I that have... That man's really trying to even the score. Yeah, trust me. But, um, but yeah, I think, I, as I said, I took some major L's. Do you know what I'm saying? So a lot of the time when I was in school, I was, it was about proving yourself. I think that's what it is. I think... When you go to secondary school, mm. um, a lot of it is about proving yourself and you're proper unsure because you're going through puberty. <clears throat> Every man's lying on what they're doing mm. and you don't have like a lot of self-confidence yet because you ain't done nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, so you're all but in But you school. said something that was mad that like you're more likely to be accepted if you do a sport. Now, I did basketball, yeah. but I wasn't, like, the leader in the... Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you're, like, top two in the on the pitch, bro, like, yeah. There's something about schools and sports. Mm. Like, the boys who play sports... In this country, if you play football and you play football well, yeah, you're in an elite you're the class. Guy, yeah, yeah. You're in an elite class. It doesn't even matter if you're Niki, fam. You date the most popular girls. People respect you. Everybody thinks you're cool. Mm. And you're tight with all the man them that you need to, like that is good yeah, to be tight they play with. Ball, because yeah. they play ball yeah. as well, and they're like, "Yo, this brother's sick, isn't it?" I don't really, un- I don't really understand the psychology of what it is. I think if I have to like think about it a little bit, mm. I think it's something to do with competency. I'm people literally re- about yeah. to say competency. Like yeah. People respect competent people, and when you can do something to a high level or to a high skill, mm. there's something about that. Because even though we don't want to admit it, when you see one of them brothers go up at school 
and the teachers asked a hard math question and they just blitz it. Like, do you know the answer? Yeah, I know the bl- answer. Okay. Yeah, you take the 5X and then, da, 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 mm. then you divide it by seven and then you... Da, 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 da. It's impressive, isn't it's it? It's impressive, yeah. yeah. yeah it's so impressive. it's things like, like, I feel like we're all drawn to competency in people. It's just that for some reason, the f- like having the physical prowess, maybe because it manifests in the way that your body is. I'm not too sure because mm. there's some chubby brothers that played football in that and they still got the respect or whatever. Um, so maybe it's not that, but... I, I definitely think there's a competency aspect to that. Um, I was pissed because my thing was like, everything was always too late. So when it was in college that I got into dancing, but if I had been dancing from secondary school, I would have been known for dancing. Do you know I think you got, I think that's one thing that I'm trying to drill into my daughter in it. Mm. Yeah. Like be good until you are ex. Like <clears throat> I've said this year a lot of times. If you, believe like a lot of people get themselves into trouble by thinking they're great Mm. yeah when they're average and Mm. they miss the chance to be above average because they think they're great when they're not yeah yeah Yeah? so a lot of the times all you need to do is know a little bit more than most people Mm. and you're gonna fly do you think you've ever suffered with that well i yeah i do because i feel like a lot of times i feel like i'm a know-it-all and I don't know much, mm, but you know most than a lot of people. Uh, ah, like, yeah, but I, it depends. Terms, but it depends on who I'm sitting next to. Yeah, yeah? that's true. That's and true. so, all of these things are relational. You know, you could think that you're good at, say, for example, you've watched a lot of documentaries on psychology. You've done you right, but that's very different from somebody who's got a PhD in psychology. But then it goes. That back person to... knows it intimately. But it goes, it goes back to, and I hope this one is probably going to be released before. But it goes back to the episode about um, relationships and early relationships, isn't it? It's like when someone can do something impressive, it regardless, it's impressive, isn't it? So it's kind of like for me, like my understanding of it is that level of competency is kind of what that younger person sees in an older person, if that makes sense. So like you know when we talk about dating down, isn't it? Yeah, so it depends who you are in a room with. Yeah, if you're like in a room with a neuropsychologist, do you get what I'm saying? And they're talking neuroscience, then yeah, like what they're talking about looks impressive to you. But maybe there's, if you're talking about podcasting, you're going to be in the forefront of that arena. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think it just depends. And everybody wants to be around a group of people that kind of elevate them to some degree well I'd hope so innit and to bring it back because I didn't finish my point mm. about the whole um, if your child is being bullied yeah, yeah. I think there needs to be more pressure on schools because schools um, don't want to report bullying because it makes them look bad to Ofsted mm. and there's whole issues going on with Ofsted right now mm. right like that lady that you know the teacher the teacher self deleted it? oh is it yeah because her school was um it was like excellent or very good mm. and then Ofsted brought it down to like below average or something oh like that. mad yeah I think so now it's led to this thing where some schools are not letting Ofsted in bro do you know what yeah and oh sorry go on. yeah so <laughs> just what I want to say on this thing is schools need to be held accountable for bullying that goes on in their school it should be monitored aggressively. I think it's really difficult, like, because we've had these instances in it mm. where we've talked about where it's like, yeah, it's just kind of like guys sorting out pecking order mm. and it's, it's difficult to extract whether that's like harmful. Yeah, proper bullying mm. or something. Like, how do you separate like somebody being quippy and somebody having like a dark sense of humor mm. um, and somebody like physically like not physically but like bullying like emotion because now we got things like emotional bullying yeah we're more aware of these things so i think that the school should take a very hard stance i think physical bullying if anybody is caught like physically bullying somebody they should be chucked out of school um and and i think it needs to be regulated more because you don't want these children going to school and feeling like they want their lives to be gone because of what they're enduring at school do when there's a parent, ever be oh sorry, go on, go on. when there's a parent you've sent them there to better themselves 
you know, and because of some differences, whether that's skin colour, whether that's the weight. Like, kids will pick on anything, yeah? Mm. So I think, look, I'm not trying to sanitise the playground. There needs to be those interactions. There needs to be, to ask, yeah, there needs to be fights. There needs to be, like, somebody hurt your feelings a little bit. But I think that that's very different from bullying, like, sis, like systematic attacking, knocking people's food out of their hands when they're going to, mm. to, going to eat lunch to the point now where they're starving because they don't have no money to buy new food. Yeah, and see, that's my car. I've never ever been through. Yeah, anything, but this like, what? Yeah, 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 so we haven't been through anything like that, innit? Mm. We thank God. Um, but there are people who go through that, and mm. I think the school needs to be more proactive. They need to say it on day one, induction day. Yeah. Anybody who engages in bullying of somebody, you're out. We don't tolerate it. We don't, you know, we don't tolerate Do it. We you, don't play no games. So uh, that's a very good point, isn't it? And I'm glad that you kind of brought it out there with car. We never want to seem like we're glorifying something like bullying, isn't it? Yeah, because of course. Because it man. has such a negative effect on other people's lives, isn't it? And I can only imagine what parents go through when their child has been literally tortured mm. in school but I suppose I wanted to ask the question um, in terms of that element of bullying do you think it's ever not useful but do you think it ever builds character in a different way see this this is something I've struggled with in mm. because I acknowledge the need for adversity but I don't think you get adversity with that type of bullying Mm. you always end up breaking somebody down mm. like and i think it's an excuse that bullies tell themselves in order to justify what they're doing fair enough um but i think that when you systematically bully somebody you're not making them tough mm. you're you're breaking down their mentality you're breaking down their self-worth you're breaking down um their ability to form a positive version of themselves um in a way that can be long lasting and maybe unrecoverable. And so to me, like, I, I don't think that type of abuse, which is what it is really, mm. abuse is, um, can be used as like, I'm making you tough. And I, and one point that I need to point out, mm. um, because I, I don't think we've touched on it is that some of these people who are bullying in that way, they're being bullied the same way at home. Mm. And there needs to be intervention. And that's much, much harder, right? Because where a school can identify it and identify it, it's harder to identify it in the home. Now, maybe they flag the bullying. And this is why it's important to flag the bullying at school. Because mm. maybe by flagging it at school, you find out that the dad or the mum who's abusing... Um, is is part of the problem, and you try to resolve that problem. So do you know what's well. mad? I used to work in a um in like a well being team as part of like my placement for before I became a social worker, and um they put me in that team, and it was basically like the naughty kids in it, mm. like who couldn't pay attention. And I do understand from a school's point of view because some of them find it really really hard to deal with that bullying first of all yeah i think you've got the unsaid dynamic that some of these like adult teachers used to be bullies, bullies. yeah do you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying not even bullies but bullied oh bullied. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah so it's it's quite triggering for them and then also sometimes you get no support from the family as well yeah you know where the family are like god oh, as you said they're just guys being guys or you know yeah it's not that deep or some families who basically come out and they're just like yeah f off do you know what I'm yeah saying? yeah like, yeah we don't know, care we don't care yeah yeah so i think it's a very complex issue in it um, definitely and sometimes you know remember working for social services then you have like the children's side as well in it where it's like children get taken away mm. and this and that so Bullying like can be so traumatic from the jump all the way down mm, the line. A lot of it? wires in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, so yeah, it, I don't foresee that we would solve the issue or that, you know, teachers would always solve the issue. Yeah, but you but, can improve it. But you can improve it. And no, that's 100%. Where we start, no, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, let us know what you think um, about this topic. 
um, what do you think can be done to improve um, bullying in schools? Uh, let us know in the comments. And um, until the next time, my name is Sammy. My name is Don. And we've been the family. Bow.